This is the solution to written homework 44. Okay. Uh, so, the natural domain Uh, the only restriction is that the argument to the radical has to be non-negative. So 9 is greater or equal to 3x. So 3 is greater or equal to x. So uh, that means that the natural domain is negative infinity to 3. Okay, 2. the actual algebraic steps. The first thing we'll do is I'll move the radical to the other side so that it reads x is square root 9 minus 3x. Then I'll square both sides. So x squared is square root 9 minus 3x squared but squaring both sides is not truth preserving which means that we're going to need to check uh, all of our answers after ha after having done that so then x squared is 9 minus 3x so move everything to the other side x squared plus 3x minus 9 is equal to 0. <clears throat> okay, so can we factor this in the easy way? So, two numbers whose product is negative 9 and whose sum is 3. Well, 1 and 9 won't do it. 3 and 3 won't do it. So I guess we'll have to use the quadratic formula. <clears throat> so x is negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 9 and all of this divided by 2a so 2 times 1 so negative 3 plus or minus <coughs> the square root of well, those negatives will cancel and we'll get addition. So that's 4 times 9, which is 36, plus another 9, <coughs> would be 45, over 2. So <coughs> the two answers are negative 3 minus the square root of 45 over 2 and negative 3 plus the square root of 45 over 2. So now in order to be in the natural domain uh, you have to be uh, from negative infinity to 3. <clears throat> So, let's check. This number right here plugging it, in, plugging it into a calculator, it's clearly going to be negative. So negative negative 3 minus square root 45 over 2 well that's starts out with negative 4.85 so that's in the natural domain that's good <clears throat> and then plus so this one starts out as 1.854 dot 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 so that's good. Both of these are in the natural domain. 
Now the next thing we need, we need to do is check and see if they satisfy the original equation. So now we'll come up here. Well, this equation right here, x is square root of x equal square root of 9 minus 3x, that's the same as the original because that's just moving the radical to the other side. <clears throat> the negative answer does not satisfy the equation. because there's no way that a negative value could be equal to something that comes out of the radical. So there's no way that could work. <clears throat> Let's check the positive one. So we'll check that one. And we'll check the other one. So negative 3 plus the square root of 45 over 2 equal to <clears throat> square root of 9 minus 3 times that number, negative 3 plus square root 45. over 2 okay, so let's type that into the calculator so square root of 9 minus 3 times negative 3 plus square root 45 over 2. So that's the same value. So that's good. So the conclusion this one is the only answer x is negative 3 plus the square root of 45 over 2. <clears throat> okay, as for this one, in the first place, the natural domain is anything except z, z is 0 and z is 3. So you could write that in interval notation as negative infinity to 0, union 0 to 3, union 3 to infinity. Okay, then as for the algebraic steps, We'll do 10 over z minus 12 over z minus 3 plus 4 equal to 0. And what we're going to do is multiply both sides by z times z minus 3. The purpose of doing that is so that we can get the numerators to cancel. So when we distribute, <coughs> when we distribute this to there and to there and to there, this z will cancel with that z, and what will remain is a z minus 3. So we'll get 10 times z minus 3. And then when we distribute it to the middle term, 
the z minus 3s will cancel, so it will be minus 12z. And then when we distribute it to the 4, nothing cancels, so that will be plus 4z, z minus 3 is equal to 0, because anything times 0 is 0. So now we need to simplify this. <coughs> 10z minus 30 minus 12z and then plus 4z squared minus 12z equal to 0. So now we'll collect this. So that's 4z squared and then 10z minus 12z is negative 2z minus another 12z is negative 14z <clears throat> and then as for the constants uh, we have minus 30 so minus 30 equal to 0 so now I'll divide everything by 2 to obtain 2z squared minus 7z minus 15 equal to 0. So now I have a quadratic. So can we think of two numbers whose product is negative 30 and whose sum is negative 7? Uh, we can. Uh, how about negative 10 and positive 3? So which is to say, we were looking for two numbers whose sum, whose sum was negative 30, whose product, or no, whose product was negative 30. trouble today. Product is negative 30 and whose sum is negative 7. Yeah, how about negative 10 and 3 whose sum is negative 7. Terrific. So then we can take this 2z squared minus 10z plus 3z minus 15 is equal to 0. And then in each pair we can factor out the greatest common factor. So that'd be 2z and then z minus 5 and then plus 3 times z minus 5. So the factorization is 2z plus 3 times z minus 5 equal to 0. <coughs> so the solutions are uh, from this one, uh, we get z is negative 3 halves or z is 5. So now, both of those both of those are in the natural domain because the natural domain was anything except 0 and 3 and so those are fine. And then we didn't have to do any um, all of the operations were truth preserving so we don't even need to check so the, the answer is both of those. Z is negative 3 halves, or Z is 5.